Well, one thing that we really try to do with the Evo IP Evolution product is have a really easy to use interface um, that will allow anybody to be able to set up a system, no matter if they're really familiar with HDMI over IP or IP in general, or you know, I've been doing it for some time, but have been able to really know what kind of features they're looking for. We set up a system that is very easy to use, very easy to set up. Um, there's three different ways, actually. Um, you can actually, there's an IP list set up through dip switches. So essentially flip a dip switch for a one-to-many solution, and you will be able to essentially address the IP through that. Um, we also, the control box uh, has an HDMI out, which will allow you to either have the IP address that you can type in the browser, or you can actually scan a QR code. That QR code will then automatically go to the setup GUI, where you can set up a whole entire system without a computer, essentially. I mean, there may be other aspects of the network, et cetera, you may need a computer, but our system, standalone, if you want a very basic system, um, not as much customization, which actually you can do. Um, there's lots that you can do with just a tablet, a phone, etc. So, um, Brandon, just in a nutshell, could you uh, tell us a little bit about what uh, you set out to do when you first designed, you know, when this idea came to, came to the market here? Like, what are you trying to bring in a nutshell to uh, integrators with this product? Well, ultimately, time is money. So, I mean, what we want to do is reduce the time of setup. And we've done that drastically. So uh, any kind of new uh, transmitter or receiver is automatically found within the system. Uh, it's very easy to set up. It only takes a matter of seconds in order to do, really. Um, our system has can do up to 1,064 device uh, inputs and outputs. Um, have video wall functionality, on-screen display, uh, which is great in terms of digital signage, of course. Um, you could upload different albums even so that you can actually already, Access within the system, the store several pictures and just have them rotate. Uh, that's one thing that we're demonstrating on our TV and also demonstrating that we can turn the displays uh, 90, 180, and 270 degrees if need be. Um, that's a lot of functionality. Um, also, through the cloud, uh, we can once connected to the cloud, there's additional functionality where you can schedule uh, mappings or, pr or presets for how you want uh, transmitters to be on receivers. Um, you could also set up events so that for, uh, which is a great opportunity actually for recurring revenue for dealers, uh, where if video drops out, for example, um, this, you can actually have it set up so it actually does the first step of troubleshooting, which in anything digital is rebooting. That helps a lot sometimes, quite a bit. And then also, uh, installer will get an email or text message if they want, so if they sign up for that. So. They'll know to diagnose, reach out to the customer, and actually from there they can actually look into the log to see if they can pinpoint the event that actually happened.